is for you to live with him and for him. So, what do you think? I want to close with Tozer's quote like this. This is really profound. I want you to listen closely. There are two ways to approach God. Theologically, theologically, and experientially, experientially. The more you know about God, theologically, the better you can know Him experientially. Do you get this? A rational approach to God is what I can get into my head. But that's one way to approach God, through theology, through your intellect, through doctrines or teachings. But the purpose of doctrine, watch this, the next part, the purpose of doctrine, okay, hold on a second, is to lead you to see and to know God experimentally, to know God for himself, for yourself. But until we know God theologically, we're not likely to know God very well experimentally. That's why we spoiled up our heart, our time, in teaching you the Word of God. That's why IBC Central, we have so many Bible studies. It's not that we don't have time to spend. I know a lot of churches, they have Sunday in the morning and then they have Wednesday night. Yes, you be great. That's fine. I'm not completely criticizing. But man, twice a week and you live how many days in a week? You think that's enough? The greatness of God's word is so unsearchable. If you know God with understanding of His word, you will know the experience of God in your life. But then you know there are some believe that you know what? Just don't worry about the truth. Don't worry about the word of God. We're gonna experience it. We're gonna feel, feel it, baby. It's here. Can you feel that? Yeah. No, no, I don't feel it. Turn up the, the air a little bit. Oh, yes. I'm feeling a little bit. Something moving. Yes, yes. That's of God. Really? Guys, too many deceptions have changed. I have corrupted so-called Christians to live in the lies and put Jesus' name in the middle of it. I can do all things to Christ who strengthened me. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Behold. A million dollars come to me. Really? I know it's foolish, but Isaiah 25 verse 1 says, Oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of all, your word, are faithful and true. If you truly know God and his truth, then our life will testify that truth in everything you do and you say. Do you know God? Do you really know God? Do you really know His truth? Do you? If you said, I know God, I know the truth, then you should be living with Him and for Him. You cannot just sit down and do nothing for God. The difference between a religious man and a man who really loves the Lord and knows God well is a man who cannot sit still, do nothing when God wants to do a lot of things. A man that cannot just be like, you know what? Oh, later, you know, that's why he can't. He always sees the moment, sees the day for God. Like the Bible said, redeeming the time for the days of evil. Always, always, always for God. Yes, we have so many demands. Yes, we have things to meet. Yes, we have to do a lot of things, responsibilities. But remember this. At the end of the day, when Jesus Christ returns, nothing will be his will matter. Can you really hear the word of God in your ears later on when he stand, when you stand before him, when he said, good and faithful servant? Can he really say it to you? Would you please bow your heads in the editor of prayer? <clears throat> so Father God, as 
as we are continuing to worship you in your truth this morning. God, we know that you demand us to respond because your word is a lie. And a living word will always cause those who are alive to respond accordingly. So God, I pray that for your people, Christians, who have placed their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, that your word has been exposed, that you are truth, that will compel them to live with you and to live for you. And that they will trust you, not just in their lips, but truly with their lives. Lord God, I pray, if there's anyone here today who do not know you yet as their personal Lord and Savior, if there's anyone here today in this room who never really trusted you, Lord God, I pray that they will sincerely come before you in repentance of their sins, to remember to know that Jesus Christ, our Lord, had died on the cross. Not because of any of what he's done, but because of our sins. So that we can be redeemed, that our sins be paid away, and that we could live with you in the fullness of Jesus Christ. To know you, and to live with you, and to live for you. God, I pray that they may come to know you very soon, perhaps right now. So may it will be done. May your spirit work freely in our hearts, in Jesus Christ's name. Before we close in this prayer, if there anyone here today who say, Pastor, please pray, please pray for me. I sincerely do not know the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm living in a chaotic world right now. There's so much chaos in my life. I'm confused. I really am confused. I don't know what to do. I really just, I help, you help. And this morning I've realized that I do not know the Lord Jesus Christ. Would you please pray for me, Pastor? If that's your prayer this morning, if that's your testimony, would you please, please slip, up, slip up your hands and say, Pastor, pray for me. That's me. As a testimony of your my heart, please pray for me. Is there anyone like that? I'm living in chaos. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm lost. I do not know the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been religious all my life, but I've been so confused. I really want to know the Lord Jesus Christ today. Would you please pray for me? Anyone like that? As a testimony of your heart. Don't leave this place living in the lies of the devil. Living in the deceptions of the devil. Live in the freedom of God's word. The Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Why don't you come to know the truth? Come to know God. And God will set you free. Is there anyone like that this morning? Pastor, pray for me. I want to know the truth. I want to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Christians, what is that God has convicted you today? What is it that God has spoken to you? Are you truly living with Him? Are you truly living for Him? Or you're living for yourself and using Him, using God as your crutches to help you, to do things for you. Want to repent? Turn to God. Say, Lord God, forgive me. Forgive me for my sins. That I have raven your spirit, that I have quenched your spirit. As I have so many times, I, I do not trust you as a sheep, and I do not live for you. Oh God, I pray, may I continue to live for you. For I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who live in me. And the life that I now live in this body, I live for the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So God, I pray that will be the truth the covenant that we make to you that is rest upon your power 
your glory. So we pray in all of this for the glory of our name, our Lord Jesus Christ's name, and all God's people's name.